Hello everyone, this is JL the July Lioness. Hope you're doing well today. I borrowed my good friend Homer Humbucker to help me out here with this build video. In the series New Bold Generations, there eventually, pretty soon, coming up, coming up, um, my four main ladies will become teenagers and they will go to boarding school. And so I am building the school, the Grace Miller School for Girls, a college preparatory academy. <laughs> so I've got out my, uh, my wall tool there and I'm drawing in the walls. And Homer's just sitting there playing on his phone. Uh, I'm not able to record build videos if I don't have a sim on the lot. I have to do it from, uh, I have to take them over to the lot in live mode and then turn on the recorder in live mode and then pop into build mode and it will record what I'm doing in build mode, which is kind of restrictive. It, that's a um, an improvement. Uh, that's progress uh, with this new expansion pack. So. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but they've been tweaking a lot of things with the game with this expansion pack. So I'm putting up the walls and I'm trying to center everything on that staircase. And I wanted a, a staircase. I drew all this out on graph paper a couple nights before. So I knew I wanted a double wide staircase, so there it is. But I wanted people to be able to get past it, so that means I need to have about at least a four square wide hallway. So here we've got it established. Look, this is at looking at the front here with the stairs, and I just put the foundation in. That's when it popped up like that. Um, I'm doing very tall walls on the ground floor and then the shortest walls on the upper floors because the very tall walls give you kind of a grand feeling so you want this to be an impressive school so and so the big space is on the bottom any visitors that come are going to likely see the, the ground floors the upper story is um, residents. They're going to be four students and three teachers and one janitor. And I would say this was sort of set in the 70s but not not strictly because again we have the the technology issue. You want it to be a functioning school. And that means I need to have computers. Okay, so that's uh, two stories, three stories. No, I think it's the uh, second story I've just done. So this is going to have normal short walls to make the rooms feel cozier. Uh, I got to tell you, it is a bear decorating really tall walls because you have to get like paintings above paintings and. You know, they don't have anything nice like wall hangings. So you've got all this bare space and there are very few large doors. So you've got these tiny doors and all this wall. <laughs> it, it bugs me. So I've decided if I mix the heights of the walls, that kind of helps a bit. Um, so I've got short, I've got two, height three, at the bottom, the tallest, and then height one on level two and level three. Don't, I'm not using level three, but it's there for the future. So I'm doing the roof now. Um, they've got in this expansion pack, they've got these new dance floors that are uh, glass. You put them on on the ground and you can actually see through to what's beneath it. So uh, 
you know, a bunch of us are using them as skylights. So that's what I'm experimenting with here. So I'm putting in these little dance floors, five by five. And they fit just about right. doesn't matter if they don't really, because that's still, there is still a ceiling there that goes, goes in. It's, whenever you put up walls, it automatically puts a, a ceiling on the, the floor below and a floor on the floor above, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, here, adjusting the roofs. They got a little, a little wonky, but I fixed them eventually. It's not a perfect build. There's one thing I need to attempt to fix, um, I guess maybe tomorrow with this building, but um, I may make this available for download. Um, I should be able to fix it, but if I can't, I don't want to tell anybody about it because then that would be, it kind of, if you don't know about it, you probably wouldn't even notice, but since I built it, you know, I want everything just, just so, I guess I'm a bit of a perfectionist and it's, it, I'm, I'm OCDing over this. It's bugging me like, oh, how do I fix it? So, I think I can do it. I always keep a notebook beside my bed, and at 2 in the morning, I might jump up, sit up, and write down, scribble down some ideas. <laughs> if I don't write them down, it'll bug me and bug me and bug me, and I might actually even get up and fire up the game and, and try and fix it then and there. So, to prevent massive sleep loss, I will... Uh, <laughs> Um, it's a lot easier to just write it down. <laughs> okay, so now I'm starting on the, the science building, the science lab, and the greenhouse. And I'm using more of those dance floors to get, uh, to get more light into the building. I was thinking I was going to have two greenhouses but then I realized oh no there's all sorts of cool stuff that you can put in a um, in the science building so I decided to make this front building the one on the left will be for the uh, all the for science uh, for science class trying so hard to measure properly. Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> so yes, this is called Grace Miller School for Girls. Grace Miller is a family name. Oh, I thought that'd be kind of nice. Oh, if you're on Facebook, don't forget to, to look me up. Just look for, um, I think it's the July Lioness. And I've got a page that I've started. I'm going to start taking screenshots uh, of my builds. I've really been enjoying building. I never did it a whole lot. I've got 900 hours invested in this game. And I been playing The Sims. So now I'm turning towards building because I've been watching other sim simmers do their building videos and I've learned a lot. There's still a lot more to learn, but <laughs> you just keep going. It's a trial and error. So I'm pretty sure I can fix this little little oopsie I made on this building. But it's not the most grandiose. It's functional. In, it's an inst <coughs> excuse me, it's an institution. It's so it looks institutional. 
and this is a 50 by 50 lot. I find if you have a lot of like separate buildings, it's very taxing on the computer, on the CPU, because it has to keep loading in you know, everything, the, the walls, the windows, everything. Every time your sim goes to a different building, it has to keep loading everything back in again. So it kind of works better if you just have it centralized. Because, I mean, you can, you still have plenty of room. You've got, you can go up, you know, above ground, you can go four flights, and then underground, you can go two. So there's, that means you can have a, a basement and a sub-basement and then four stories from the ground up. Six levels. So if you can't get what you're trying to, if, can, if you can't accomplish what you're trying to accomplish in six levels, whew, I don't know. <laughs> of course, in a, in a real boarding school, the lot would have to be enormous because there would be all the buildings boarding school university you know same same idea but you probably you would have a separate library a separate auditorium maybe the auditorium and the gymnasium would share a building uh dorms several dorms and each dorm would probably be a different building you know you might need like five to ten just dorms depending on the size of the school, of course. But I've seen boarding schools that were all just one building. Actually thought of attending one, but I, I did go to boarding school, but that's not the one I chose. But the one I visited, everything was in one kind of a, similar to this really, kind of a U-shaped building, or maybe it was a, no, I think it was kind of a, oh, what was it? No, it was sort of um, squarish. It was all connected. Everything was connected, and they were kind of long corridors. But I think it was only on one level. So I mean, it was nice, nice enough, you know. Um, nice. It was in, um, I think it was in Connecticut, somewhere in New England, where the winters are cold, so you can. You didn't have to go outside to go to class, which was it's nice, a nice treat in the cold climate. So on the left, this is the science room, and it's got these very this very grand staircase. <laughs> you didn't you don't see inside it, unfortunately. I did that off camera. It's got uh, two big microscopes and two um, chemistry stations and two um, analyzing st analyzer stations with the centrifuges in them so and they all they're all interactive so there's a that'll be fun fun for my science girls and on the right I filled it with plants just a real pretty greenhouse because at my boarding school we had a a little greenhouse and we had a little um, plant club which was fun never really met but it was fun to kind of be able to pop into the greenhouse and see what was going on love plants always have loved plants house plants especially my mother was a was a gardener, so she took outside and I took inside. <laughs> so I'm making sure everything's kind of lined up here. We want some nice symmetry. It's harmonious that way. So I wanted to have I wanted to have kind of an interesting courtyard, but simple too. So there is a big, there will be a big statue of a ballerina that'll go right in the center. And I need to do more landscaping. 
We need some trees. We need some bushes along the foundations there. Uh, hmm. All sorts of things still needed. Now, because those bottom walls are extra tall, you can only get one set of windows. So that can be a little bit annoying. That's why there's that gap above the windows. Couldn't fit any more windows. You can only have one window per per panel. So I'm not a huge fan of high high ceilings. <laughs> I mean, there is certain. They they achieve a certain look, so it's okay. But I think the uh, really a medium height is nice, or just the standard height. Nine was it eight feet? I think eight feet's the standard. So putting on the windows, windows, windows. I love, I like those institutional type of windows. I remember I think we had some of those in our school. I think they crank open. You know, they're not double hung. You have to um, they're like awning windows. I'm, I can't think of the word right now. With the, the science building and the Greenhouse are um, picture windows, so I thought I'd be able to get more glass in the greenhouse, but because of the high walls, I couldn't do it. So, window, 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 lots of windows. This took quite a while. This was a very long build. I'm still tired. <laughs> and I try to rest, and it's like, no! I haven't finished. I hate when I, you know, try to, because mm. I worry that it might might get l lost. You know, <laughs> might, what if the game crashes and I lose this? Ah! But I kept saving. And Homer's just sitting there because time is suspended for him. Money has to be there. At the end, he was a little hungry, and we had to find a bathroom, so we took him over to the that movie theater next door, and he had a uh, he grilled himself some uh, what he had some chicken, I think he had some grilled chicken, and used the men's room and played the guitar for a while. He even earned some tips <laughs> playing guitar. Oh, Homer, he's now he he leveled up. He's now a level ten guitar player. Hopefully you guys are watching New World Generations. I'm talking about Homer Humbucker, the uh, kind of country guy with the the black hair and the well salt and pepper hair and the beard, and uh, his wife is Hera, a blonde lady, and he has a son, Homer Henry, Homer Henry Jr. and daughter Delilah Sue and Homer Henry Jr. just married Clemency Lou Strum and they are the parents of Rennie Mae Humbucker who has yet to appear on the scene and Rennie Mae Humbucker will be one of the girls who attends this school so you see it all meshes together nicely doesn't it <laughs> Yeah, that's what takes a long time, putting all these stinking windows. Well, everything takes a long time. This video was originally uh, almost two hours long, and that's just filming, like, the highlights. So I edited, and I've sped up a lot of these parts, but I haven't sped it up so much that it's just a blur. Because some people will do that, and then I end up feeling kind of sick after I watch those videos. It's from the, the camera jerking. If you get too much of that camera jerking around, you get motion sickness, or I do anyway. So I've only got this sped up to twice the speed to avoid 
Herky jerky. Just putting some pretty decorative windows up there in the in the eaves. That's of course the attic space. Um, it's a nice space if you, especially the central part where the where the skylight is. You do actually get some sunlight coming through, filtering through. It's very mellow. I may send some people up there to see if they can cloud gaze through the skylight. <laughs> putting on that nice brick. I had it with the, the white and the windows are so light that they were just kind of lost. So I like the contrast of the brick and those white aluminum framed windows. And there you see the dance floor roofs. They could probably dance up there. I right? just put a fence up and <laughs> give them some stairs. They can go dance up there. <laughs> Moving inside now. Here's the central staircase. It needs um, banisters and um, a railing so nobody like falls down the hole in the floor there. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so yeah, this is the this is the second story, and I'm going to start laying out the living quarters. And it's students on one side and faculty apartments on the other. So the students are going to be Rennie Mae Humbucker, Nana Lemon, Fox Newbold, and Rainy Bowie. Daphne, they didn't meet Daphne until after she, she uh, married. Rainy's brother, so Daphne was will not be in this one. Plus, I didn't have enough room. <laughs> Limit of eight Sims. Faculty is headmistress, crochet fiber, and let's see. Then we've got the uh, uh, drama art music teacher, Ms. Peace Smiley. And the, uh, oh, we sort of math, science, sports is Mr. Wilbur Mellon. And the sanitation engineer is kind of a hippie guy. His name is like Crimson Freebird Man. He loves the outdoors, man, and he always takes these janitorial gigs, man. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's a deadhead. Crimson's fun. <laughs> okay, setting up the bathrooms for the girls. Uh, I could have done, well, it's difficult to do public bathrooms in The Sims because they are rather modest. If you use a certain type of shower that's meant for camping, then you can put the shower side by side in the same room. Otherwise, they won't, they won't shower until the room is empty. So you need to give them individual uh, areas to, to bathe. So here's, I did a toilet and sink section for people who just need to powder their noses. And then the showers are adjoining. And yeah, I could have had a, a, whole, a big long counter with sinks along it. That would have worked too, but oh, I just thought I'd do something different. These are kind of like handicapped accessible stalls, a bit bigger. I don't know, I go in the public restrooms that are really, just have the toilet in there, and some some of them are so small that you get all snarled up in the door. <laughs> I hate that. I'm kind of liking handicapped accessible stalls, so if nobody else is around, I'll kind of sneak in there. <laughs> okay, setting up the faculty apartments. The headmistress, because she's the boss, she gets the biggest and the best. Uh, at the very end of this video, there is a little, a little bit of footage of her finished apartment. She gets the fireplace. She gets a nice den. She gets a teeny little kitchenette. Um, 
I'm discouraging people from cooking in their rooms. There is a cafeteria uh, downstairs. So that's where people should be taking their meals. But they do have uh, coolers. So the people who don't have actual little kitchenettes, um, I gave them coolers. So on the left is headmistress's Headmistress Fiber's apartment, and in the middle is Mr. Mellon's, and on the end is Ms. Smiley's. So Ms. Smiley gets all the windows, but she's the art teacher. She wants her natural light, and she's probably going to be using her apartment more for painting than for entertaining or anything. Mr. Mellon, I don't know, he just, he's just a guy, he doesn't really care, he just needs a place to sleep and maybe do his, you know, some computations. He might be spending a lot of time in the science lab, come to think of it. So he just needs a place to hang his hat, nothing too fancy. Um, Ms. Ms. Fiber, you know, she's the queen bee. She gets the best of the best. And her paycheck reflects that. <laughs> <laughs> so actually I took the space I divided it in half and then uh, once in half again so I think it's like what was it I think it was 28 28 squares wide total so um, headmistress gets 14 squares wide and then Mr. Mellon gets seven, and Ms. Smiley gets seven. So that worked out well. Sometimes I, I end up with an odd number of squares, and then I get all tripped up, and then I get fudged up, fudgy rooms, <laughs> which can be complicated on the outside with windows. I hate it when my windows don't match up. So yeah, this is the headmistress's apartment, and we yeah we just call them headmaster or headmistress when I was in school. Uh, I think now they call themselves head of school. But uh, yeah, so this is her little apartment, and it's it's rather formal because you know the headmistress if she wants to get to know uh, uh, somebody she might uh, you know a student maybe she needs to, wants to have a conference with a a senior about her college plans or something so she might invite her up to tea in her apartment so it's very cozy and nice with a fireplace and um, most of the things that you need very homey so we're doing her bathroom now. This is her powder blue powder room. <laughs> and yeah, she's got a double sink. It's nice to have a double sink. Yeah, she lives alone, but she's got a double sink because, you know, you use one sink for brushing your teeth and washing your face and all the usual stuff. And then the other one, you can soak stuff in. Like your... Like maybe your, your pantyhose needs soaking, your nylons. So you soak them there in the sink, and then you um, hang them over the edge of the shower because you live alone. That's all right. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody will know. But yeah, you got to use that second sink. And I try and tuck the... Uh, wherever there's a spot that doesn't have windows, I'll usually tuck a bathroom if bathroom is necessary. So it doesn't mess up my windows. Cause it, I, it's so silly to put in a window and then cover it up. But then on the outside it looks bad if there's this gap where those windows should be. So here's a, are these neat new feature. We've got closets that have interactions. Like they have sliding doors and we build them in like that. And the, the sim will, can slide it open and they can try on clothes. Or if they're a kid, oh, they've got the cutest interaction with the kids. The kids can play in the closet. It is so funny. I've got footage of that with um, 
oh, I think it was, yeah, the Bowie kids were playing in the closet. And I'm going to, I'll have to edit that video. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of the video now. We've got about four minutes left. So we're just going to finish up. There's a lot I left out. Um, and what I did include, I sped up because, you know, it's this is over half an hour, this video. Anyway, so we're, this is um, Crochet Fibers. Yes, Crochet Fiber is her name. She has three sisters. Uh, well, there are three sisters, rather. There's Crochet, Knit, and Macrame, and their last name is Fiber. Yes, it's a pun. <laughs> the Fiber Sisters. So this is Crochet, and I was playing her in other games, and I just like that. I like the name, Crochet, and she looks like she looks like a uh, um, principal of a school. You know, School of Rock, you know, the lady, um, Joan Cusack's character. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of a similar look, come to think of it. Kind of thin, maybe, and mousy with, with the glasses and dresses rather formally, you know, very, you know, business-like. So that's crochet fiber. And her sister... Macrame is a rather is a, a big woman, and her other sister Knit is kind of an idiot, actually. <laughs> so here I'm tweaking her bathroom. I found these little circle rug things that are kind of cute. Um, I like the way you can kind of see through them, so it's sort of lacy. But I wasn't feeling the blue; it was a little too strong. And don't forget, if you're ever going to clean your bathroom floor, to move the shower tub out of the way so you clean under it and then move it back because that's what the Sims do. <laughs> so here we are at the end. This is a shot of her apartment. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I will be seeing this real school very soon. I need. I have a few more episodes to do, but thanks a lot for joining me. Take care. This has been JL. Bye.